Jordy here, back at it again with another video. For today's video, it's going to be one extended vlog over the next couple of days because this is my video that I'm going to be documenting me kind of packing up in Canada and flying to the UK. Now, I'm so freaking excited. I cannot wait to see Brandon, but I have a lot of stuff to do before I get there. So I have to pack, I have to say goodbye to a lot of people, I need to go see a couple of people, I have a photo shoot tomorrow. So I'm gonna document the next couple of days just so that you guys can see kind of the days leading up to me leaving and so that I can take you along for kind of this journey. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I hope you guys stick with it. I actually had to say my first goodbye last night and that was to my dad and I teared up, I cried. I was a little baby and I cried because I have honestly not been away from home for an extended period of time, like ever, ever which is crazy because a lot of people go off and they adventure out, but like, I've always like lived in Oakville. I've always stayed in Oakville. I've always been close to my family. Even when, when I went to school, I would come back every single weekend um, of my first semester and drive all the way back home from Queens, which is three hours away, because I did not want to be away from home. But I'm years older than that and I am definitely more mature, but nervous and excited at the same time. I'm so excited to go, but yeah, it's bittersweet with saying goodbye or see you later to people who are part of my daily life, who I care for and love. So this is just gonna be a video documenting that. Sorry for the uh, long intro, but without further ado, let's get into this video and start packing. I don't even know where to start. Guys, vote. Rolling method or flat method? I don't know. I don't know. Just roll. Okay, rolling it is. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life I have a lot of stuff packed, wow And I'm a little overwhelmed, I still have more stuff to go But this is looking good, if I could say so myself I don't know if you can see all this, but god damn this shit's organized, guys. I'm going to pick and choose the last couple things that I can put in here, but if you look to this side, right here, I still have a pile, like a massive pile, and I don't know if I'm gonna pack all that stuff. After I'm done packing, then I'm gonna head to the gym, hit a workout, and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna hang out with one of my best friends, Skylar, and then we are going to go to my best friend Pam's house and just hang out for the night and really kind of spend time together, but I'm really happy. It's all going in the suitcase. It's all going in the suitcase. Okay, peace, see you in a bit. So we are just sitting within my mess of clothes, but she's here. <laughs> Hi, Sky. Hey. Oh, what are we doing tonight? I'm not sure. I can't tell you. Just hanging out? Yeah. Okay. Just hanging out. <laughs> Lies. I know when you're lying. Just hanging out. Are you lying? Maybe. Okay. No, I would never lie to you. I know. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are going to order some stuff online and then we're gonna get out of here. Okay, Skylar's acting as if there is nothing going on, but I know there is. I know there's something going on, but I look into her car and um, there's this massive bowl of pasta salad and there's only supposed to be me, Pam, and Skylar hanging out. Um, I don't think so because this ma massive bowl, let me show you one second. Massive bowl of pasta salad. <laughs> Who's gonna eat that much pasta salad? Me. Oh, I can yeah? eat it by myself. It's all for you. Yeah, obviously. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go. <laughs> On the road again. So all my best friends in one place, uh, there's nothing more that I could ask for. So thank you to Pam and Skylar for setting everything up. I appreciate you guys so much and I love you guys so much. It's actually insane. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just enjoy our time um, and I'll show off the girls and everything and what we get up to. I think we're just gonna hang out and chill and yeah, this is just so great. And um, I'm very grateful to have best friends just like this and all of these girls that showed up are the most amazing humans ever. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Hey, sorry, what, Chelsea? Chelsea? You gotta have at least 
one. Guys. No, I can't. Oh my goodness, look at these things. Oh, good morning. Your girl is tired. She just got her lashes done. Um, okay, look at them. They cute. Um, but the bags under my eyes just <laughs> tell you everything about last night. No, um, actually last night was really, really chill. Um, I'm so, so grateful. Two of my best friends, Pam and Skylar, set that up with the rest of my best friends um, to show up and really have like a really cute girl, like hangout day party. I don't know. We really didn't drink much, but we just like got to like spend time with one another and just enjoy each other's company. So I had maybe like one shot. That was it. But like it was such a good freaking time and I'm so like grateful that they did that for me um but yeah i thought it was like gonna be like goodbye for everyone but they're actually all coming tomorrow which is the day i leave um to the house uh before i leave because everyone was like i can't say bye to you yet i'm like i can't say bye to you yet i did not get home until around like 3 a.m last night because we were just talking until like late and it was so amazing um but i got up slept through like all of my alarms just got my lashes done as you can see i'm very very happy with them um and then now i got home and i actually got a couple packages in that i want to show you before um i make some breakfast because your girl's starving it's like 11 o'clock and i'm so hungry right now so i'm going to show you the two packages that i did get in one is from hd muscle and the other one is from sour ships um i'm spoiled i have so much fucking candy excuse my language i so much candy like it's actually ridiculous like i am never gonna run out of sour stripes like i'm so happy i'm so content with my life and it's the new flavor and i didn't think i was gonna be able to try it because it sold out so quickly online but they sent me a package so i'm so excited i'll do an on-screen taste test by myself which is not as fun um but i do want to try it so i will that's one of the things that i'll be having for breakfast this morning Woo! <laughs> this box oh my god Look how many sour strips I have, okay? Like, Jesus, I love you so much. On screen taste test of the new sour strips pink lemonade flavor. I am so grateful that I get to try this, holy shit. Let's, I'm only gonna have one because this is not a really good way to start a fitness channel. Well, I am, I do fitness. <laughs> I do fitness. I'm so tired right now. Um, this is not a good way to start like your day. You know, you shouldn't just have sour candy for breakfast, but um, we're gonna do the damn thing. <laughs> Ooh, I love that it's pink. Pink is actually my favorite colors. And it's really nice because the sour strips, it's like you can have four pieces for 117 calories. And like, I honestly don't think that's that bad in my opinion. So I have one and then I'm gonna put them away. But without further ado, look how beautiful this thing is. Like, I love how pretty they look. I'm sorry, like, they sparkle because of the sugar. Real taste test going in three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so refreshing. It literally tastes like lemonade. And I love that it's pink and it just pops. Max, you killed it. I am all here for the pink lemonade flavor, so whenever it restocks, please go pick it up because you won't regret it, I promise you. Um, but yeah, I have an addiction to sour strips, and clearly I have more sour strips than I can, uh, than I know what to do with at this point, but I'm very, very grateful, so thank you again, Max and Sour Strips. I really appreciate you guys so much, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see what else you guys launch soon. <laughs> okay, next package of the day is itchy muscle. So let's crack this baby open and show you what I got. Me with a knife is not safe, okay? So the first thing that is coming out, Intra HD. So these are essential amino acids and I use these when I'm working out to keep hydration within my system, um, to replenish my muscles, to increase energy and endurance, and they really help keep you hydrated throughout your workout and already help with the recovery process. My favorite flavor is the black cherry lemonade. So highly recommend trying the Intra HD EAAs. They're amazing. The next one that I have is Vita HD. So I take these every single day, five tablets in the morning or five capsules in the morning um, with my breakfast and basically it's an all-in-one amazing multivitamin but also has mineral blends as well and it just helps your immunity and detoxification it helps your energy and your mood it helps with your internal shield and support and then also helps with your overall cellular function it's like every single vitamin that you need to take 
in one, which is freaking fantastic because rather than spending like $300 on like a multitude of different su like supplements and minerals and stuff like that that you're ordering on Amazon, like I've done the comparison and it's madness. Like rather than spending just $90, then three to $400 on all the supplements, it's actually crazy. The next, I got a new shaker cup and I think that these are super amazing because HG actually used the blender bottle, which is fantastic because blender bottles are so high quality. They don't break, you can drop them, trust me, I'm a klutz, I drop everything. So this is really helpful. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging so that you guys can see it, but I love how they did like HD and then integrity is everything, which is their slogan. And then I love that it has like this little attachment so that you can attach it to like your gym bag, your purse, whatever you need to kind of carry it around. So highly recommend picking up one of those and they're pretty cheap as well. Now, the last thing I got the pre HD elite, which is the non-stimulant pre-workout. And I'm honestly obsessed with this because of the nootropic effects and also because it like produces such a nice pump when you are lifting as well. Like the focus and the pump from this pre-workout I don't even know how to describe it to you. Like I'm obsessed and my favorite flavor, blue lemonade. So I got the big container of the blue lemonade and this is my little restock. If you want to save yourself money at the checkout and you want to support your girl too and the channel, use Jordy Dix at checkout and you'll get 10% off. Now I have one more thing to show you. I'm going to put this stuff back in the box and just throw it off to the side. Guys, you're not even ready. Okay. When I tell you that I have an addiction to call her daddy, I mean it. Like I am obsessed. I used to love it when it was like Sophia and Alex, but I'm so proud of Alex and the fact that she, if you don't watch Color Daddy, I'm so sorry, skip the next two minutes because it's what this is gonna be about, okay? Like I love Call Her Daddy because it's so hilarious to listen to, like it's crazy. Like I can't believe some of the shit that actually happens in this world with like dating and stuff like that. Honestly, the dating world right now is really a scary place because people just end up playing each other nonstop. I need to do a video on this because Oh, I was gonna do the girly chat and like I had so many questions about like playing the game and like I'm sorry I I can't play the game. I'm not good at playing the game I've never played the game like real like I'm not good at it. I am like a straight shooter I've tried to play the game Failed miserably don't need to play the game anymore I highly recommend you just listening to it because it's so good for guys and girls It gives you just like an in-depth understanding of what girls and guys needs need you know but yeah, I'll do a girly chat as well so, so that you guys can get my opinion on certain aspects of like dating and like relationships or like just girl stuff in general and like guy stuff. I'll give you guys some tips and hints with girls and girls, I'll give you some tips and hints with guys because I have a little bit of insight with both. Yeah, let me just show you guys the stuff. Okay, I have an addiction and like on Wednesdays, episodes are launched on call her daddy and then the next two <laughs> i'm so happy i'm probably gonna wear one of these on the plane because uh you gotta represent okay i have an addiction to call her daddy so it's a really really cute call her daddy sweater you know and it's really cozy and then the final one <laughs> this is my favorite sweater it's it just says i am unwell that's all it says <laughs> that's that's just something that they say on the podcast um, so it just like resonates with me, you know, that those are my packages that I wanted to show you today I hope you didn't get bored. I'm sorry um, But yeah, this is just me documenting the last couple days before I leave and I'm sorry if this video is long But if you guys want to see what I get up to this is the best way how to now from here I am going to make some breakfast and then um, I'm going to pack a little bit more because I'm not done and then Probably hang out with my mom tonight need to go to the gym later but nothing crazy today. So I might not document too much just because it's like the same thing that I did yesterday. Good morning, guys. Today is the day. Guys, today is the day. So this morning, I went for a walk with Sky. We went on a five kilometer walk. It was really, really nice. It's the last walk that we're gonna be able to do um, in our mornings. And then now I'm actually heading to F45 for a workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and work out with a couple of the team members and yeah. And then after I'm probably going to grab a smoothie because I don't have time to come home and make a post-workout meal. So I'm gonna go to Quench Juice Bar Oakville and and pick up a smoothie or a juice or a ginger shot. I'm not sure, I'll decide when I get there. And then my mom and I are actually gonna go get our nails did. Your girl needs claws on and I need to get a pedicure done. So we are going to do that. I'll take you along for the ride. And then basically today 
is all over the place. After that, I'm going to the gym. After that, I come home, I shower, I get ready, my friends are coming over, and then my lovely mother is driving me to the airport for me to leave. Holy shit, dudes, let's do this. Your girl is a sweaty hot mess. Yes, I put a hat on. Yes, I changed. I'm just getting to quench. I just finished the F45 workout. That is my last F45 workout in Oakville for a while. I'm going to get a protein shake because your girl is starving and hungry and um, I don't have time to make a meal, so it's time to get the shake. This is the new norm. Take a picture of yourself. No, mom. White on the toes and then French ombre on the hands. Almost there. And then uh, heading to the gym. Oh, okay, guys. I have my nails done now, my toes done, everything done. Um, need to obviously shower, but we are here for the final workout before I leave to the UK. And I am so, so excited. Today is a light day and I can't record it for you guys, but I'm so excited to get in there, go kill it. Um, yeah, just have a really good training session. And then after this, I'm gonna go home, get ready fully, um, and then film a little video with my mom doing like a mom and daughter Q&A. And then my mom and I are gonna drive to the airport. And we are off, squad, team, channel. Mom, say hi. Hey, off to the airport. Yes. Tears have already been shed, if you can't tell. We have some questions to do because we never did our Q&A, so we're gonna do them in the car on our way here. On the, put us on this <laughs> one, no, no kidding. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the spot. Oh, no. oh god, I'm just gonna hold the camera. Mother, daughter, Q&A. So, oh, this is for me. Fave food your mom makes for you. Mm. Progies are amazing but I only have them every so often. My mom's really, really good at cooking Ukrainian food and desserts. And like, as, when I was a kid, I actually like always asked her to like make cookie dough for me all the time. Mm -hmm. And that was my favorite thing as a kid for her. She'd she eat it raw, right out of the bowl. Oh, yeah. Right, not cooked. That's why I was a fat kid. Um, this is for me, Jordi. Have you ever gone out with friends but never told your mom? Oh my gosh, when? And she would sneak out of the house, name a time. <laughs> And the most famous time would be when? I don't know. There were lots of times. There was a lot. Chelsea goes, not a question, but I love you guys. I've never laughed so much in my life. Oh, Chelsea, we do have so much fun. And you know, whenever we get together, and of course, Allie will say that as well, along with Pam and Skylar, the laughter is phenomenal. Always because a good time. I have no filter, Chelsea, as you know. Uh, we all know that. Oh. <laughs> what does your mom think of Brandon and about you going to the UK? <laughs> what do I think of Brandon? What do you think of Brandon? Oh, speaking of him. Brandon? We're just, Brandon, uh, we're just answering the Q&A and I'm supposed to comment on what I think about you. And you're currently calling and disturbing our q and And you're currently &A. calling and disturbing our Q&A. Oh, you are. You you're, are on the video, Brandon, right now. You're honey. getting in trouble, and she's putting her opinion of you right now. Yeah, so. right now. I'm terribly sorry, but you know what? If anything, just make you, just, just make you as honest as possible. <laughs> Entrepreneurial, lovely, considerate, but if he fucks with my daughter and hurts her, Mama Bear's out to get him, I gotta tell you. Mama Every, Dixie! Mama Dixie, and that's what Brandon calls me, is Mama Dixie. So, yeah, no, I have uh, nothing really bad to say right now. Time could change. No. As for how do I feel about Jordan going to England? Well, I think that Jordan and all of her friends are a bunch of lying, skanky hoes <laughs> because Jordan's booked a flight to go for five weeks, coming back August 31st. And these lion little biatches, I've heard four months, I've heard three months, I've heard six months, and then I've heard, oh, I should have just booked an open ticket. So, <laughs> um, how do I feel? Sad. Aww. Okay, no crying. Okay, next question. Because <laughs> I know that you're crying. Because I can see the picture, don't.
don't do the ugly cry face. <laughs> I'm in the picture right now? Yeah, you're in it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, because I couldn't see the screen and I didn't know I was there. Oh, okay. I love you, okay? Another question. <laughs> Whose question was that? Will your mom be sad if you move to the UK? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, you know what? <laughs> I love the UK. I've been there before in a relationship, a long-term relationship I was what? in. And I had a great time there. We went and spent three weeks there and I loved it. Uh, will I be sad? Of course I'll be sad, but you know what? Jordan knows where her home is and I know how to find them. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite memory of for both of us? And are your favorite memories the same? You are hers. What's your favorite memory of me? <laughs> When we go on vacation. I was going to say yeah. the same thing. When we go on vacation, I got to tell you, we have a blast. And it's like Jordan and I just kind of chill. And we get and, to like turn off. And we get to drink. <laughs> and we make fun of ourselves and everything else. And Jordan loves to dance. Loves to dance. But yeah, so... <laughs> Vacation-wise, I was going to say yeah. the same thing. Every single time that we're on vacation, her and I can just chill and shut off. We, have, we actually don't argue. Like, my mom and I argue a lot. It's a mother-daughter relationship. It always has been. Yep. But, like, and we're always going to butt heads over everything because we're both stubborn bitches. No, she's always wrong. I'm a Virgo. I'm perfect. And I'm always right. And she's wrong. So, oh, okay. There we so go. So, do you get this? <laughs> um, but, yeah, on vacations, like, we have no reason to argue and we really don't. So... It's nice that we just get to spend time with one another and just talk. What is your mother's favorite car brand? Well, she's always stuck with a Ford, so yes. I'm assuming that. What is your body count? What does that mean? How many people have you slept with? Me, 28. 28. You've slept more? Whoa. 28. Hey, I'm 63 years old. And 28 guys I slept with. That's not bad. What? Yeah, I didn't get late till I was 19. That was the first time. Oh, really? 28. Mom. A couple were one night stands. <laughs> what? I, I got a, a little book when I die, you'll find it in my cedar chest in order of appearance, and there's codes B, D, S, D, G, S. You know, you'll figure it out. Oh, God. <laughs> now you know. Oh, God. I know. It's terrible to hear that about your mother, isn't it? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Help. 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 <laughs> Get me out of this car. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Do I have to answer? It's just the same question for you? <laughs> it's just, what is your body count in general? And I don't think I want to answer it. <laughs> Go ahead. I've never answered this on social media. It's not that much. But Brandon's your last. Aww. Aww. You love him. <laughs> you love him. I know you love him. Well, hey, he hey, takes hey, my abuse, let's hey, say that. fun fact. My mom has never liked any boyfriend I've had. No. Sorry to break any hearts, but my mom has never liked any boyfriend that I've had and Brandon is the first <laughs> that she's actually liked because it's really funny. They both have similar like sassy personalities. So if like she sasses him, he'll sass right back. But like they'll get the banter and it will work and it's not a matter of disrespect. And like like ever since the beginning, like he's been open and like like very talkative and easy. Very open and honest. Yeah. I ask him a question, he answers it. Yeah. 100% does not beat around the bush does not lie and she that's something that she really respects in people in general not only like relationship wise what do you both have in common apart from DNA what do we have in common our love of food <laughs> our love of food our intolerance of stupid people yeah oh my god accurate I feel like, like yeah, yeah. You tell somebody once and don't they get it? Like you have to explain yeah. like 50,000 times. Are you kidding me? I'm a patient person until I have to explain things multiple times. Yeah. Then I'm like, e our uh, sassiness. Our yeah. sassiness, we are the same. Like I'm very, very sassy. Sometimes we know when to back off, but sometimes I don't. No, she doesn't. No, I don't know when to back off. I know when to back off. You love to get the last word sometimes, but oh, I never I, let you get the last word. I love the last word, but she loves it more. Yeah, I love you know? it more. <laughs> we both like coffee. We both love sushi. Indian food? Indian food, a yeah. hit. See, there we go. Greek okay. food, we love Greek Ooh, food. Oh. Okay, we, I said we love food. <laughs> we should. Yeah, food. Oh, that entire conversation that. circled back to food. Food, okay. This will be the last question. What are you going to miss most, most about your daughter when she is in the UK? And what are you going to miss about your mom 
when you're in the <laughs> when you're in the UK. I'm gonna cry. What I'm gonna miss about my daughter, and I was just talking to the girls about this with Pamela and Skylar. I'm gonna miss Jordan changes four to five <laughs> times four to five times a day I minimum. Shut the hell up. We already discussed this. Four times, and that's if she's not going out for the night. It's just like outfit, you uh, workout, coach at F45, workout, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna miss doing her laundry. I love doing laundry. She actually does though. It's I weird. love cleaning up. I'm not gonna have to clean up after her, so I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss kind of. You're, you're acting like I'm a messy person, and I'm not. No, you're I'm not a messy it. person. You make your bed. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm really very, very clean. She's yeah. just a very. Clean I'm just gonna miss kind of miss knowing that she's there. You know, when somebody's there, you just take them for granted, and when they're not, they're gone. Yeah. Like I'm gonna miss her being at home with me <laughs> and safe, because I'm the only one that can protect her. Remember this, Brandon. Mama Bear. Mama Bear. So I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss your nagging. <laughs> oh, I think that that's assertive. <laughs> no, I'm going to miss your voice. I'm going to miss... Your nagging, your bitching, your no, complaining. No, being around you, just like... Like, you're right. Taking things for granted, for sure. Like, my mom does a lot for me. And, like, not having that support sister around... Wow, I'm crying. Not having that support system around me all the time is going to be really, really hard. Hope you enjoyed. No questions? No. <laughs> I hope you watched, loved watching us cry and just chat. And I hope you guys do this with your parents so that you can find out their body counts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick you guys back up at the airport. Okay, guys. Finally through security. That was an absolute nightmare. They opened my bag in the middle of everything and went through it. So that was really great. Um, a little bit emotional. I've been crying. I actually was on the phone with Brandon already and he's off to bed and when he wakes up, I will be in almost in to the UK. In oh. order to reduce noise. Okay, so I just got to a restaurant. It's called Heirloom Bakery Cafe within the airport and I ordered a steak and tomato salad because I'm so hungry. I had a smoothie before I left, um, but the stress of everything that just happened you know, I need to eat, I need to eat before I get on the plane, so I'm going to get a bite to eat, um, and then I'm going to head over to my gate, maybe grab a protein bar as a snack, and that is about it, guys. I am leaving to the UK, and I'm, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I hope you can, um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy the long vlog of the last three days of my life, um, before leaving to the UK, but Without further ado, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the UK.